Alright guys, in this video I'm going to try to set this up and um, show you what it's like to use its app. Now the first thing I want to talk about is you press this until it makes the sound and it turns on. But I just realized that the first battery, this thing comes with two batteries, the first battery that I just charged um, last night did not seem to work and it just died on me immediately. And this one here that's also been charged and I thought was fully charged because it went from blue to red also seems like it has very very little battery and that's not cool. So the first step we want to do <coughs> is to, um, as I said before, is to find it. I'm going to press this until this button shows up and then eventually, I'm not going to show it on camera, it would give you the passcode to the camera itself and then if everything worked out correctly, if everything worked out correctly, you should see this thing here saying action cam and then once you're on it, you can jump over to the app which is this app right here. Ta-da! And then you have to wait for it to connect, which it will. And it has this kind of weird looking shape, so then you can choose a different one. For instance, this is what I would use right now. This is what you're seeing. You can push it over here so you can see me better. And uh, yeah, so that's, that's how you get that done right there. Alright, so then once you do take a video because this would be for the uh, take a picture and this would be to take a video then the annoying part is you would have to go into the media gallery okay so once you have the media gallery then you have to download the video from the camera itself onto the phone and once it's done that then you will have to download it from this app onto your camera roll for you to be able to see it. And I think that's an extra step that's really unnecessary and I wish they would fix that, but it's kind of common with all these VR cameras and it really, really um, doesn't do much for efficiency when it comes to um, preparing your videos and then being able to use them later on in um, in your editing. So that's something to think about when you are buying these new VR cameras. The cameras themselves are fantastic but the apps still have a lot um, of work to be done for them to be really as efficient as for instance just taking a video on your phone and then just having it in your camera roll and being able to just go with it. So yeah that's something to think about. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.